Um, we've walked to get to the house through the stable block, that great big range of brick buildings there. And of course, before the car was built, and obviously later on in your, your voyage with Leaps and Bounds, you're going to be going and uh, looking at Jaguar cars, who are based fairly close to, to where, where I gather you, you all live. Um, but before the advent of the motor car, of course, the horse was the thing that everybody needed. Well, Western Park's been the family home of, of one family continuously, um, right from very early times, from the medieval period, up until 1986, which is when the present Earl of Bradford, the seventh Earl, gave the house to the nation in lieu of tax, following his father's death in 1981, when he had not made adequate preparations for the death, and unfortunately the family became um, encumbered with a huge amount of death duties. Yeah. Loads of books, quite yeah. right. It's, being, it's, it's a, a library. library. And it's a library. It's a library. Anything else? Some of them are Chairs are comfy. Some, uh, books are Some of them are. It's a bit lower in, in scale, isn't it? We're in a much smaller room than the one we've just been in. This was actually, though, before it became the library in the 1860s, this was the original dining room for the house. So you would have had the table in the middle, big sideboard at the end, and the bookcases were only bought in in the 1860s. The first of the Bridgmans to come and live at Weston, though, was Sir Henry Bridgman, the fifth baronet, who, as with the rest of his family prior to that date, had been living at Castle Bromwich Hall, the family's original home, um, in Warwickshire on the outskirts of, of Birmingham as now it is. So the Bridgmans have been living at Weston since that day. The most interesting painting in here, the lady at the far end there, she's painted by an artist called Sir Peter Lely, and that's Lady Wilbraham. She was the lady that was responsible for building much of the present house in the 1670s. So very, very grand lady. It was a different world to the world that you will have seen at Castle Brummage. Um, when, because the family stopped living there um, quite a long time ago. And it was a different world when I grew up. I was born here in 1954, and it's a very different world now. So do you have like another house like this, or do you Sorry? Like another house, another house like this? Or oh, I live in a tiny little house. Uh, I live in a house which um, is, well, the whole house would fit into that room there. My name's Charles Bridgman. Um, I am the younger brother of the Earl of Bradford. Um, our family seat uh, is at Western Park. It's now looked after by a charitable foundation. I had a wonderful childhood here, um, which will always stay with me and will always inspire me. Uh, we had a lot of fun as, as children, playing in the grounds and up the Temple Wood and down the Shrewsbury Walk. You guys come to Weston and enjoy seeing the house and the garden. And this, this elevation of the house, with these um, segmental pediments we've got at each end of it, very much inspired by European houses that were being built in the late 17th century, over nearly 400 years ago now. So very, very important designs going into it. We've learned about um, Castle Bromwich and Western Hall Park. Yeah, and we learned about different people who live there and... And the uh, Bridgman family. Yeah. Uh, the buildings are really big and it's really interesting to see what's inside. And the paintings as well. It's so important to have a dream and to follow it. And I hope that in coming to Western today, it's given you a chance to, to dream a little bit and to see the wonderful things that are out there and really not very far from Birmingham either.